Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm Melissa if you haven't been here before. Today what we're going to do is we're going to be playing with this uh, Makeup Geek little fall palette, fall harvest is what it's called that they came out with recently. And that's what it looks like. Really, really pretty color story. And I know I enjoy the Makeup Geek formula, but I'm going to be trying this shade color story and uh, seeing what we think about it and just seeing if these shadows live up to the Makeup Geek formula. So if that's something you want to see, then just keep watching. I'm going to take off my glasses and I'm going to throw on real quick just some... Um, the ColourPop Crim Shadow and Laurel. And I'm going to do this off camera just so it saves time. So my videos aren't 20, 30 minutes long like they have been. Alright, I'm not going to set my eyes. I put on my little kitten ears. They match my new hair. So I did dye my hair last night. And I'm still getting used to it, but it's growing on me. Um, it's been a while since I've been, I don't know if I ever went this dark. Whenever I did black, I normally had like blue or purple hints in there. So it's a little different for me, but I'm enjoying it. Um, I'm going to take this kind of taupey shade mm -hmm. up here. And I'm going to throw that in my crease real quick. Alright, I'm taking this chocolatey brown shade down here. And I think I'm going to try a halo eye. So I'm going to put it on my outer and inner corners of my eye. Alright, now I'm going to take this kind of auburn, I'm not sure exactly how to, it's an interesting pretty shade, and I'm going to take this and put this in the middle of my eye. I'm going to take a cotton round, some Lysler water, just clean up any fallout I might have had in my edges over here. I'm going to use the Too Faced Major Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. Mine's like the ultra big size they had on sale, so I grabbed it. I love the way this nails. All 
I'm taking the Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation in Vanilla. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to dot that on my face. I'm using my Sigma Multitasker brush to blend that out. I'm taking the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in Swan. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put that under my eyes. Yesterday when I dyed my hair, I had hair dye. Because my husband usually dyes my hair. So I normally don't dye my hair. I normally don't dye my hair. I get my husband to dye my hair. I'm going to blend that out with the concealer brush. And my camera cut off, by the way. So, in case it's only did one or half a night or whatever, my camera cut off. But, um, so he normally dyes my hair. And I never dyed my hair until... Probably when I got in my 30s, when I started seeing gray hair or having a midlife crisis, whichever it may be, um, I started dyeing my hair. I think my daughter might have dyed her hair before I did. As she's 16 now, about to be 17. So... I never dyed my hair myself, and yesterday, when I dyed my hair, I literally had it all over here, all on my ear, all in my, where I have my ear pierced up here, my cartilage, it was all around there, literally all black. I had it everywhere. I had it on my arms, my neck. <laughs> I had to do more cleanup afterwards than anything, but where my, I had to do it in the bathroom and I couldn't wear my glasses. I was blind, so I couldn't tell exactly how much I was putting in my hair. So I was just putting it all in and just rubbing it. <laughs> and I think I put way too much. So it got everywhere, but it was pretty funny. I should have took a picture of it. That would have been pretty funny. All right, I'm taking my number seven powder and light, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of powder to set my under eyes. I'm taking my Maybelline City Bronzer in 200, the medium shade. I'm going to use that to warm up my face a little bit. I'm going under my chin, down my neck, I'm 
All right, I'm gonna take the uh, e.l.f. multi-chromatic multi-stick and was it glistening peach? I don't know how good this is gonna go with the look. My the shimmer kind of has a little bit of pinky tone to it, so I'm just gonna go for it and we're gonna try and see what this looks like. And I'm using my Sigma F80 Air Flat Kabuki brush again. I don't look too bad. Alright, I'm using the Ofra Highlighter in Rodeo Drive. Thought this would be a really pretty fall highlighter. this bow and chin all right I'm going to take this chocolatey brown again and I'm going to put that on my lower lash line try to get it as close to the lash line as I can get my highlighter and I'm going to put that in my inner corner see what that looks like thought about using the shade that I got in the middle in the inner corner but I think I like this better I'm going to throw on my Thrive Mascara and I'll be right back Alright, first I'm going to take the Lippy Pencil, Colourpop Lippy Pencil in BFF3. Mm -hmm. It's kind of mm -hmm. a chocolatey brown. I'm going to put that on my lips. Alright, I'm taking the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipstick in Cool Girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put that over that liner. I'm going to take the matte prep and prime fix plus setting spray and it's the watermelon kind mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to spray my face real quick all 
All right, this is the final look and uh, using the Makeup Geek Fall Harvest palette. And I found the names on the back, the shades that I used, I used Creased in my crease. I used Dark Roast in the inner and outer corners. And then I used Legend in the middle. So if you are interested in knowing which shades that I used, but I really enjoyed using this palette. I think it's really cute. Um, it's kind of mainly a neutral palette with a pop of green, burgundy, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Green and burgundy. But I really like the shimmer that I used, the Legend shade. I think it's really pretty. That's why I decided to use it just because it looks more full than the other two. But I really enjoyed using this palette and I think it was only like $16, something like that. It wasn't very expensive at all. So somebody had said that they thought that it was their old shadows they just had laying down from before they rebranded because they rebranded and started using square pans. And before they use round pans and these are round pans but even so you're only paying $16 for nine shades so it's not I use eyeshadows forever anyway so it's not that big of a deal and I think I still got a great deal it is still available on their website if you're interested in getting it. But I really enjoyed playing with this palette. I really love the look that I came up with. I think it turned out really great. My little cute halo eye that I did. I'm not sure how much the lips match the eye, but that's fine. I think it turned out fine. Um, I think it actually looks pretty good to me. I don't know. Y'all might think different. But... I need y'all to let me know something down below. I have a bunch of Juvia's Place palettes that I could play with or I have some other ideas of different videos that I could do that's not just me doing my makeup. I have a few different ideas, some maybe some tags, maybe some best of, you know, different stuff like that. Let me know if y'all like watching those videos or if you like seeing me just do my makeup sitting down and doing my makeup. I'll still be doing my makeup some um, Fridays. I plan on doing like a makeup therapy where I sit down and just kind of chill and do our makeup and have fun and chit chat, that kind of thing. But just let me know down below because I do have all these Juvia's Place palettes that I could do looks with. And I still could do looks with them in like my um, makeup therapies and stuff like that but let me know if you'd like to see me do looks with my Judy's Face palettes. Let me get grab them and tell you which ones I got. I have a stack of them. I have the Warrior 2 palette. I have the Berries by Judy's Place. That's one of the little mini pant palettes. I have the Nudes. I have the violets, I have the chocolates, um, I have the regular warrior palette, I have the Saharan palette, I have the Nubian 3, the coral palette, I have the Nubian 2 palette, I have the Masquerade Mini Palette and the Magic Mini Palette. So I got all these on sale on their website and at Ulta too. So let me know if y'all want to see or which one of those y'all would want to see some looks on or if you just want me to integrate them into like my makeup therapies and different stuff like that. I really love sitting on here and doing my makeup, but I want to do things that y'all want to see and I'm kind of running out of palettes other than those to do like newer palettes. So I'm trying not to spend as much money. I'll still be getting some new palettes because that's my Achilles heel. 
but I'm trying not to buy as much as I have been and do a little bit more different videos. Like Sundays, I want to try to do while I buy it and kind of talk about makeup releases. I do want to do some fall looks, which I could use some of those for the fall look. So just let me know what y'all are thinking um, going forward y'all would like to see on my channel because I really want to do things that y'all are interested in. So, But thanks for hanging out with me. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love for you to become a part of our family here. Also, ring the bell so you can be notified of my amazing content. And that's going to be all for me today. I hope you are staying happy, healthy, taking care of yourselves. And have an amazing rest of the day. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye, y'all.